Here's a fun hack you could try out at your next party. So you're going to need any bowl that you have, and then you also want to get a wine glass. Take the wine glass, put it in the center of your bowl. This is going to be a way that you can serve your dip and your chips. So I'm just going to add my dip to the glass. I have my dip in, now I'm just gonna add the chips. How cool is this? Perfect for your next party. If you have guests come over to your house and you want to make sure they know your Wi-Fi password, I found these at Dollar Tree. They're magnetic Wi-Fi password chalkboards. So you're just going to need to pick up one of these. You're also going to need some kind of chalk writer. This one is from Dollar Tree. I just got this in the white. Now the cool thing about this is it has a magnet on the back so you can put it on your refrigerator. But all you have to do is just write your Wi-Fi password. I have two ideas for you guys on how you can store craft supplies. So when I was in the crafter square, I found this retractable holder and I thought this would be perfect for paint brushes. So this is what it looks like out of the packaging. You're just going to unscrew it. Then the side that has the little handle on it, you're gonna take your paint brushes and put them in. This would be great if you had to transport your brushes or if you didn't have a designated craft space. Then you're gonna take this and just slide it back on and it easily stores all your paint brushes. The other cool thing about this is you can customize it based on the size of your brushes. So if your brushes are a little bit longer, you can just leave it out a bit. Now another way you can store your brushes, this is great if you have a place to display them or you have a craft room, you want a clear glass from Dollar Tree. And then I also picked up some of these crushed glass pieces, but you could use rocks or anything they have at Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna cut a few of these and put them into my container. Then you can place your paint brushes inside. The thing I like about this is it keeps them separated. So when you go to get a paintbrush, you can see the different ones that you have. One of the things that I don't like around my craft room is when I have string or ribbon and it's just kind of all over the place. So I like putting them in mason jars. This mason jar you can pick up at Dollar Tree. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna poke three different holes in the top of my container and then I'm gonna put my string inside. So to do that, I'm gonna use a nail and a hammer. This is like a little hammer. I think these are like the hammers you get, like the Home Depot kids. What are they called? Build and Grow program. But I love these, we use these all the time. So I created a hole, so I'm just gonna pull that nail out and then I'll make a hole over here. Now you could put as many holes as you need. I'm just going to take my ribbon, put it inside and see once you get this going once, you don't have to do it again. So then I'm just gonna string my ribbon through my holes. Now for some reason, look and see my holes aren't really big enough. So what I'm gonna do is just take that nail, put it back in and I'll just kind of try to move it around to make that hole bigger. So I'm gonna stick the string through this hole. I'm not gluing anything in place. You can always change this out, or if you finish up this one, you can always use a different one. So I'll do the same thing with my red twine. I'll just put it in there, and then I'll push it through one of the holes. And then I'll also do that with the black. Okay, I got all three of my strings in there, so I'm just gonna tighten this. And then anytime I need to take a little bit of ribbon off, I'll just pull off what I need and cut it. So I saw this onion hack and I really wanted to try it out. So essentially, if you get your onion wet, it's supposed to help with tearing whenever you're cutting up your onion. So I'm gonna start by just cutting the skin off of my onion. Then I'm gonna get it wet underneath my faucet and then I'll try to cut it and see if that prevents tearing. My cutting board has water on it as well as the onion. Any tears yet? So far, so good. I kind of think this hack is actually working. Like I would think that normally I would rinse my onions off, so but I've never thought of it this way. But absolutely no tearing so far. Let me know if you guys knew about this hack. I'm a believer, I cut up my entire onion and I didn't feel teary-eyed at all. If you're gonna be traveling on a road trip and maybe you want to bring games that require dice, a great travel hack is to pick up these craft and bead storage containers at Dollar Tree.
Next, what you can do is just open it up, put two dice into the container, close the lid, and instead of having to throw the dice when you're traveling, all you have to do is shake it, and you can read your dice through the plastic. One of my favorite organization items from Dollar Tree is this dish towel holder. I use it every day and it goes underneath my sink, but you can actually use this to store your paper towels as well. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So you just wanna pull it apart. Next, you're gonna take one end of the dish towel holder, place your paper towels on it, and then you'll put the other side and connect them in the middle. And then you're just going to twist them together. Then you can just place it on the inside of your cabinet. If you like these drinks in these brown amber bottles, these are great to reuse. Now you can keep them as they are and use them for so many things around your house. But another trick you can do is actually take the lid off, put in water or any cleaner you may have. And most spray bottle lids will fit onto these amber containers. So you can make your own household cleaners or solutions. Hey guys, I'm Liz and you're watching my second DIY channel where I post daily DIY videos. You may be familiar with my main channel, Liz Fibwick DIY, but I'm glad that you found me over here on my second channel. Make sure that you're subscribed so you just get notified every day when I post our daily DIY video.